and welcome back to Angie's Pantry. Today I'm going to share with you how to sprout wheat berries. What is a wheat berry? A wheat berry is the berries that we use to grind to make homemade breads or flour. Um, I should say that we make into breads or cinnamon rolls. I'm using soft white wheat berries. Um, the other ones that you have seen me do was the red oh, wheat awesome. berries and the white wheat berries. It's kind of like a tongue twister. All right, let me bring you in a little closer and show you how I'm doing this. So easy. So this is my um, eight cup measuring cup. I got that from Pampered Chef. I love it and I use it a lot. So let's put in, start it. So now we've got eight cups of soft white wheat berries. I'm going to take some at a time and I'm just going to rinse them really well and then put them in my bowl. And this is my uh, impression bowl, the extra large. Those are on sale until the 12th of July 2019. So I'm just rinsing them. These are all organic. And the company that I bought them from, I'm telling you, I am so impressed with these. They look so just gonna do that, and then I'll come back when I get it all done, and we'll show you all rinsed like. and put in the bowl. And you want it because they are gonna swell up. It's like uh, when you take dry beans, they do swell up. They absorb the water. So first, I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna use hot water and pour it over the top of this. Then I'm going to add some just hot water from my tap. So that's about eight cups total. Now, that's what it looks like. And then I'm going to add probably about two tablespoons, capfuls of white vinegar. Stir it up. It's not gonna affect the flavor or nothing. It's just gonna help soften those, those berries up a little. Okay, we're gonna let it set. Tomorrow we'll rinse it, but I'll bring it back for that. So it's been about oh, 10 hours or so. You can save the water and water your plants. I don't do that. You just drain them. And then we're gonna rinse them really well and then I got this I'll be back in here now I rinsed it until the water was clean and then I drained it really good and I'm just gonna stick it on this pan not too thick because I want air to get to it until it sprouts right. there's my first pan so I'll now the I got ready. it to where the sun's not hitting on it and it's on these two sheets. I'm gonna cover it up lightly, and then uh, by tomorrow, it'll have little sprouts on it, and we'll I'm come back taking the tea cloth and covered up my uh, wheat berries because they're just starting to sprout. So I think I'm just starting to get little. Uh, let's see if I can get little tails on them. So. I'm going to leave them overnight and I'm going to keep checking my uh, tea cloth to make sure it's moist to help sprout those. So, and that happens. Sometimes it takes a day or two before it sprouts. Alright, let's see what they look like tomorrow. Okay, this is my last tray of fell, but I got little sprouts everywhere. So I thought I'd bring it along to, because I've already filled up the other trays. So you just put them on your dehydrator tray. And you don't want it really thick, okay? Now, 
it took it a minute, but it did sprout. Okay, we got sprouts. So two days to sprout. And then you want to do a thin layer. Okay. Now it's going to go in the dehydrator. Set at 125 on the veggie until it dehydrates. That's cool. All right. We'll be back when they're done dehydrating. Okay. They're all nice and dehydrated, dried. You want to make sure they're dry completely before you store them in an airtight container. And then when you're ready to make your flour or, you know, your flour for your breads or whatever, or pastry, whatever you choose to make with this, it's all ready to go. All you have to do is grind it. I hope you liked this video. I've had so many questions asked about sprouting uh, wheat berry grains. So now I finally got the time to make it up for you all. Stay tuned. I am going to be making a bread soon with these. All right, everyone. Big hugs from my pantry to yours. Have a great day. Bye.